I just made my 4x4 tutorial, but a lot of you are probably still confused on how to solve the centers because it's kind of hard to describe exactly. So this is going to be a few example solves for those of you who are confused. I'm going to start with yellow because there's that pair solved down here. And I can see this piece and this piece, and I'm going to pair them up. So when this piece is moved over here, that piece will need to, this piece will need to be right here so that it'll make a pair. And then I can just move that down, and this is solved. So I can see this white piece on the top, because white is opposite yellow, and this piece right here. So I'll pair it up, but then that messes up yellow. So I'll move it out of the way and put it back. I can see white right here and white right here. Move it, pair them up. And then I could slice it up right here, but then that would, me that would mess this up. So I can either knock this out of place, move it, and then put it back. Or I can not knock either of them out of place, put it here, and move it up. Which is, which is essentially pulling this down, grabbing this, and then pulling it back up, like that. There's already an orange pair, so I'm going to pair them up, slice it, and it's ready. Or, and it's solved. Now, because I've been solving for a long time, I know naturally this is going to be green. But if you have color scheme problems, you can look on the corners and figure it out, or you can use your own cube. Now, I did that because these two are not paired up, so I can move this out of the way and then put this right there, and then they're a pair. So, what I'm going to do here is put, make these into a pair move them out of the way. But if I pulled back down right now, then I would just have to do an R2 again. So instead I'm going to keep going, U2, and pull back down. And then this is pretty easy. It's solved. From this point on, I'm not going to talk very much because I find it just wasting words and I'm just going to talk if I have something important to say, but I can point stuff out with my fingers, like if I say, then that would just indicate that I there's a pair there that I can make. So it'll seem like I'm pretty much copying Qtex's videos, but that's the way I would do it anyway.